Hello and welcome to the third part in the Lua tutorial series. Today we'll be teaching you how to spawn and uh, make people your bodyguards. So we will begin by entering the code. So in mission setup you want to make maybe a new line and you want to name it something. So let's name it uh, Gary. And then we have uh, equals and then head create then x, y and z and then we need to place where they're gonna spawn so we're gonna be using these uh, in order to make Gary spawn next to the player so first we need to find out the ID for Gary so Gary's ID is 130 so every single character has an ID number so this part will name the pet we want to recruit Gary so we need to name him Gary it's not just enough by having his number here so after that we're gonna make uh, him spawn next to the player so we make just copy this off so you notice that I made a plus one next to every single letter basically and this is because this will add him uh, uh, one uh, quarter away from Jimmy, so it will he will not spawn directly where Jimmy is. May, more like maybe next to him. So now we have spawned Gary. Now we need to make him recruitable. So the second line of code is going to be head recruit Ellie. Now we're going to have a G player or G player, whichever you prefer. Uh, and then we're going to type in Gary. This does it. It uses one ped to join the other. So, uh, ped recruit ally. This is basically making something, uh, making maybe x recruit y. So in this case, uh, Gary is gonna join the player. Now, let's say we want to have Pete as well on team. So we're gonna make Pete ped create then his um, head ID and then we're gonna have him maybe spawn uh, plus two away from where the player is now we're gonna make head recruit just the same and this time we're gonna type in Gary and then Pete why because you cannot have two characters join one you have to make them sort of a chain so in order to have uh, two people join the dream, you're gonna have to make the first one join the player, then the second one join the first bodyguard. Okay, so now we're done. Now let's try the script out. If you don't know how to compile the script, please click the annotation over here.